If you're watching this video, you're probably like me. You have a dog, you have a 3D printer, and you're wondering if it's possible to print toys for them. The toys need to be tough to stand up to their abuse, but also safe for them to chew on. And the TPU material seems to cover both of these areas. It's rated as food safe, it's durable, and it's flexible. Currently, the 3D printed basketball from Wilson is a viral topic in the 3D printing space. And coincidentally, one of my dog's favorite toys is a similar design and something I should be able to print. I'll be using my Siberian Husky to help with the test. In return, he asks that everybody click the like button and share this video because it really helps the channel grow and that means he gets more treats. Today's build is sponsored by PCB Ways. I started by modeling a ball in Fusion 360. The name of the geometric shape is a truncated isohedron, also known as a soccer ball or a football if you're outside of North America. I then made the ball hollow and created a hole in each face. I was concerned that it may not print properly because of all the overhangs and horizontal sections, but adding supports would add way too much time to the print. So I decided to try to print it in PLA to see if it would work first. The print was looking good until it uh, broke free from the build plate. So I added a brim and tried again. The print was set to 0.3 layer height, uh, three perimeters and about 10% infill. It was gonna take about three hours to print. The print completed fine and it uh, turned out pretty good. The overhangs were a little rough, but overall it was okay. So I decided to move on to TPU. The TPU print would have the same settings except 100% infill to make it solid and it was gonna take about nine hours. The TPU print came out pretty much the same as the PLA, which is pretty good considering it's TPU. Looking at the print, I thought I might be able to fix the overhang issues if I changed the shape of the holes. So I went back to Fusion 360 to make some modifications. I replaced the holes with pentagons with the points facing upwards, which removed most of the horizontal areas. But this also increased the thickness of the areas between the holes, which increased the print time to about 16 hours. So I decreased the infill back to 10%, which brought the print time uh, down to 12 hours. The print completed fine, but had the same overhang issues. Changing the holes had little impact and the thicker profile and not being solid actually caused the print to crack when it was squeezing it. So it's pretty much a fail all the way around. But the first print was still good enough to test with, so we'll go with that. Now I just need to insert a few other toys and we can start the test. Before getting to the test, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, PCBWay's. PCBWay makes fabricating custom parts easy with their CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. Printing TPU can be challenging on many printers, or maybe you don't have a 3D printer at all, or you need to create parts out of materials you don't have the machinery for. PCBWay will make it easy for you to get the custom parts you need for your project. PCBWay also makes prototyping circuit boards easy with their quick turnaround times, low prices, and assembly services. Simply upload your file and get an instant quote for your project. Check out the link in the description to get started. Now let's get back to see how the toy is going to hold up with Ash. So the first thing Ash likes to do when he gets a new toy is to unstuff it, which is what makes this toy great because it's reusable and not like your normal stuffed animal. He also likes the little blue spiky ball, so he's gonna focus most of his effort of trying to get that out. So far the print's holding up pretty well, just from being flexed and bent. No chewing yet. Uh, here's Ash showing a little bit of his uh, ball control skills. He's putting in a solid effort and so far the print's holding up. Uh, 
At this point, Ash got frustrated and said, this is no longer fun, so the test is over. To keep the test going, some motivation was needed. This also allowed me to conduct a tugging test that the print handled easily. At this point though, Ash is done playing and getting down to business where he just wants to take out his frustration. This is usually where toys fail. Pulling the ball out is no longer a priority, he just wants vengeance. As expected, once he decided to use his teeth as wire cutters, the print would fail in short order. I tried to show him that he could now get the inner ball out, but he was past this point. So how would I rate this? <clears throat> if you have a normal dog and not a fur covered Jaws of Life, printing toys out in TPU is probably a viable option. One thing I would note is that even though TPU is rated as food safe, the process of 3D printing creates a lot of ridges that can trap bacteria. So if you're gonna make toys for your dog, make sure you wash them regularly. TPU can withstand high temperatures, so it should be perfectly fine to throw them in the dishwasher. I hope you enjoyed watching this little experiment and remember to like the video so Ash can get more treats. If you'd like to print your own ball, uh, I'll have the file for download on my Patreon. I'll have a link in the description. If you want to see more projects with Ash, you can watch this here where I make a superhero helmet for him. Or for more print strength testing, you can uh, watch this here where I test PLA printed shelves. Also, YouTube thinks you might like this. Make sure you subscribe to see what my next projects are, and thanks for watching.